Uh, hello guys. Uh, I got here an iPhone 7. Uh, it's boot looping. And um, it came to me uh, in recovery mode. I tried to restore it and it gave me uh, error 1. The first time I tried to restore it, then uh, I I restore I tried to restore it uh, with three tools, and uh, surprisingly, uh, it, uh, the restore was successfully, and I was able to to boot uh, the device properly, and uh, after that. Uh, after I, I inserted a, a SIM card, uh, it uh, it had it had uh, uh, service, but after a while uh, it lost it, and then uh, won't boot again. And I I I managed to to boot a couple of times by pressing on the uh, baseband PMIC over here but uh, that was yesterday and today it's just boot looping uh, cannot make it boot but uh, I'm, I'm uh, kinda sure that baseband PMIC is the issue here um I probed uh, around a little bit but uh, couldn't uh, find any sort around baseband so um I'm gonna try and rebuild the baseband PMIC and see if that uh works for me so let's get started and give this a try <clears throat> uh, da, da, da. This is the baseband. It's uh, really close to the processor, single processor unit, CPU, and the uh, baseband PMIC is over here. It's on the opposite side. Side. Um, so we have to be careful not to overheat something. Um, what doesn't seem to like my old So, uh, I'm gonna, there is a little bit of underfill.
over here. So I'm gonna use some hotter. I don't think uh, it will make any difference. I will leave it there. Uh, yeah. So let's cover. The the nant using computer heatsink and a piece of uh, copper I'm gonna preheat the board a little bit uh, from long distance. Okay.
Let's have a closer look to those pads. Okay, um, let's leave it. Let's clean the chip. I don't even know if I have an iPhone 7 stencil, but even if I don't, ah, oh, I have. I have one, but it's not a 3D stencil. Let's see if the iPhone 6 says. Stencil uh, the same.
Oh, it is. Perfect, but I think it's gonna be okay. And let's heat it up. Beautiful.
I will give it a reflow so the balls uh, settle down to the pads. Okay, the balls look really good. So let's go ahead and put it back in place. this Doing the same the same thing, I'm trying to preheat the board a little bit, and then go. Loader.
Okay. I hope you saw how the chip uh, got into place by itself. Hopefully, I didn't overheat something. Uh, area on the other side looks good. PMIC looks good. So we are probably good. And uh, let's test it, <laughs> see if anything changed. See, uh, no, let's do the same thing. So guys, after a couple of days, I uh, managed to fix this one. Um, as you saw in the, the video, I bought the baseband PMU at, uh, in the first place, but this uh, didn't work. Uh, phone uh, continues to uh, boot loop. So uh, I decided to I replace the baseband PMU and uh, that uh, worked. Um...
So, uh, basement BMU worked this time. Let's make a call. And works. So yeah, uh, if uh, the the baseband PMU ball doesn't work, then maybe you should replace uh, the chip with a new one. So that was it, thanks for watching.